The oceans are changing and have been changing naturally throughout time. However, new evidence indicates that impacts from human activity in just the last 50 years have been greater than anything seen during the 300 million years before. How will they react to such rapid changes? How is biodiversity being affected? And what will all this mean for humanity? In spite of new technologies that enable us to reach and exploit almost all parts of the oceans, we still have a very limited understanding of this environment. The Changing Oceans Expedition is an adventure through the world's most important marine ecoregions. On board our flagship, Fleur de Passion, scientists explore to what extent human activities are affecting the richness of life within the oceans, and how, if unchecked, their impact may ultimately be detrimental to our own existence. On our journey, we expand on this knowledge through collaboration with the people we meet along the way, engaging and consulting with local communities and stakeholders on questions of how best to manage the marine environment upon which they depend every day for their livelihoods and enjoyment. Our core scientific mission, developed by Dr. Ben Halpern and his team, revolves around their global map of human impact on marine ecosystems. This map makes it easy to visualize the scale of a wide range of human activities which are stressing our living oceans, from fishing to climate change to runoff from land-based pollution, showing the most heavily affected areas in red and the most pristine ones in blue. Unfortunately, on our map, the blue has almost disappeared. So the map that we produced is a, a prediction. It's a model of where we think these impacts are having the greatest effect on the coral reefs and where they are not. The Changing Oceans Expedition provides an opportunity to get in the water and document how well the map predicts the true condition of our oceans. And then they become a really powerful tool for helping managers, the government, think about where and how to design marine protected areas, to change fishing regulations, to, ch to control or uh, where hotels are built, to think more strategically about where to allow uses and where to not allow uses. Recently, Fleur de Passion visited Morocco and the Red Sea to observe the changes taking place in these two locations and help validate Ben's impact map. So we have three teams of two divers each. Uh, one team is counting the size and abundance of the fish. One team is uh, looking at the uh, invertebrate and benthic community. And another team is gathering um, algae that we bring back to the boat to weigh. And in each case, we are getting estimates of the amount and the weight of, of these different levels of the food web. And from that, we can get a sense of how healthy the community is. During the many dives of the two missions, we were able to make observations on the real impact of human activities on the oceans. For instance, despite the establishment of marine protected areas, illegal fishing activities are still common. Pollution and the unregulated development of tourist activities have visible consequences on the ecosystems across these regions. In Morocco, the first scientific results show a concerning pattern. The first and perhaps the most noticeable um, change that we are seeing in these systems is that fish communities are showing clear signs of impacts from fishing. Uh, fish abundance and diversity is noticeably lower than other marine protected areas that we sampled in the Mediterranean. Upon full analysis of the data collected, the team of scientists was able to publish a report showing that only well-enforced, no-take marine reserves offer a significant improvement in biodiversity in the Mediterranean. The data collected by Ben's team on board the expedition has so far provided useful information towards validating the map of cumulative human impact on a global scale. However, there is still much to be done. And the work we're doing now with the Changing Oceans Expedition is trying to validate that, understanding whether or not the coral reef systems actually change the way we think they are. 
My first impression is that some of that is true and some of it is not, so we'll need to tweak our maps to make them better predictions. The Changing Oceans Expedition provides a unique platform to record, compare, and monitor over time how healthy our oceans are. Our mission is to use this valuable information to engage with stakeholders, from global partners to local communities, in order to ensure a sustainable use of the oceans while valuing and preserving their richness of life. In the Antonia Foundation and Changing Oceans uh, Expeditions has a chance to spread this knowledge around the world. And there are many simple ways of Im improving the way we manage our ocean, but the knowledge is not out there yet. So with a little bit of communication and education and a little bit of research, I think we can really have a big impact on the fate of our oceans.